Hello everyone, I'm Daniel and I want to show you something I made using Red Power 2 and Railcraft. It is automatic Minecraft post office system. Uh, one station of the system on office looks like this. It has some parts here. This is the departure zone. But this is where you put your items into inventory, into the chest cart, uh, when you set address, when you send this to another post office. And this is the arrival zone where actual uh, incoming minecarts to the station will stay here until you get items on it and send it back to the system. Uh, first, I want to show you how to set the address of the destination office. I have some map here. Well, this is not actual map. In this world, I have just this office because. I didn't want to build any more until this is done. And plus, World um, Edit doesn't support uh, Tile Entity, so I would have to build it by my own entire. So imagine that every black wool block is is a um, is a post office, and these pipes are tunnels between them. If you want to get some minecart from this station to this station all you need is uh, to put in to the first slots of the minecart colors of the pipes that uh, lead to that station and next to it a uh, black wool block which actually uh, tells the minecart that it is its final station destination so if you want to get from this station to the station you just put into the first slot of minecart grey wool, white wool and black wool. If you would want to get from this station to the station, you would put it there. The yellow wool and the white wool and so on. It is very simple. Oh and uh, black wool, sorry, I forgot. I forgot. Um, in this world I said I have just one sta one station, so Every outcoming minecart will uh, turn up, turn around and uh, act as an incoming. So I will describe you in a uh, parts of this station by one one by one. So I talk, I talked with you about the departure zone. This is actually loader. Um, minecarts come here. And if they are full by some mistake, they load here and then send this to the storage room, and they will be destroyed here. But I didn't, it. I haven't been done yet because I didn't find a good way to destroy my card and put it to the inventory. Um, so this pipe here leads to this storage room. Where are storage items from minecarts? destroyed in the loader and here is a chest for storage minecarts filtered by this and uh, the, uh, from this from this chest are spawned the more minecarts for the system in this minecart spawner deployed um, I will show you this room now It is heart of entire station. It is a sorting room. Uh, every minecart passing through this office will pass through this room, and this room will redirect it to the right way the minecart should go. So, as you can see, there is a lot of wiring. There are a lot of tubes, and there is there are some filters here which actually contains the power tools for the redirecting and there are five output, output rails this rail is for empty minecarts that are going to be destroyed this rail is for unempty minecarts that uh, have a wrong address and they are, to be, they are going to be unloaded and then destroyed this rail is for minecarts uh, heading to the delivery Delivery section. It actually means that they have reached the, the destination, and these two are uh, outputting 
prayers let's see uh, should lead to uh, more to more offices by underground tunnel which is actually here but I didn't, don't have any more offices so it is looked and it will act as an incoming incoming and all incoming minecarts uh, are going to be elevated by this elevator here and then sent through this rail to the first unoccupied sorting room. There can be as many sorting rooms as you want. It is completely designed for it to be flexible. If you would want, you can even make a sorting room with more output in trials, just extending, moving this wall and adding one more line of this stuff here. Uh, it is designed by here too, uh, from sorting room to follow here to this boring trail. It, th there is a wire that serves for going on and off the rails and into it. it is for future purposes when there will be more more boarding rails and more sorting rooms then by um, adding a timer here to make a pulse every five seconds it will send my cards and prevent them for from colliding when there's them for colliding with themselves. So, uh, so yes, and every minecart. Uh, oh, I said it. So let's try it. There is a minecart, as you can see. I put there a white wool, a grey wool. So it will for first uh, go to one rail of putting, then for to the second rail of putting in the black wool, which is necessary, as I told you. And some cargo here. So you can see this is not a fake and it really works. Uh, if you want to send send a minecart, you have to pay for it. I don't mean that, uh, of course, the, uh, the wool zero will consume, but it is not such a big price. So you throw your payment to this filter and it will send the minecart to the to the, to the system and then send it oh, sorry so it is coming to the sorting room you can see there is a white wall redirecting the switch here to the first line and it's going it should go it should come from this here and it didn't again oh I forgot to do this one sorry so now it's coming back and going to the sort of room again now it is light grey wool sending to the system right there to this rail and coming out to this yeah I told it and again and for the last time to turn it with the black wall that will redirect it directly to the variable zone as you can see the light green light light lights is lighting so let's open it and yeah it is it is our Right, now let's press this button and this will disappear and it will free out the slot. Uh, yeah. And as you can see there is no card. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have some questions don't worry and write it to the channel or everywhere you want. Thanks and goodbye.